Hi, we're at 37 Eagle Claw Drive in Hilton Head Plantation and just want to show you this real quick. It may not even make it onto the market. It's going to be listed at $7.75 and um, let's have a have a look inside. You come in from the driveway, come in through the front door and have this beautiful view straight ahead smooth ceilings the dining area they have a, a pool table here but um, that's just the pool cover hanging on the wall that's all all very removable and patchable but um, LVP floors nice tall ceilings wood burning fireplace And just a, a lovely view out here. Coming in through into the kitchen, you also have a seating area, or you could set this up as as additional dining, but uh, have a little family room area in here. And then I think this is the biggest addition that they that they did was they put this screen porch on the home. And really just gets you right out here into the outdoors in a protected way. You can see the, the sun setting over will set down in, the, in this direction, at least at this time of year. And then again, just looking out, oops, looking out to this view and then coming, being able to come out onto, we're gonna have a hammock over there, onto this porch. I'd probably take these green things down. Um, but then you have have this that's that's exposed to the sun as well. That little structure over there is off the master bedroom. We'll see that in a minute. Um, that is coming down. Apparently, that was not done with the permit. However, the uh, screen the screen porch was. I guess the the owner got a little over ambitious with their with their add-ons. Let's continue back in. Interesting, they do grill out here. I'd probably put that outside the screen porch. And so you have living space here, formal dining room uh, towards the front, plus the, the living room with the fireplace. What I do like is that that space is open. You can still be in the kitchen and be part of, while you're not directly in the room, you're still part of the room. An ample storage in the kitchen. Kind of a mix of appliances here between the, the white and the stainless, but I probably would replace the appliances in here. And then you have your laundry and a walkway from here out into the two-car garage. bedrooms are, so if we come back through, see the bedrooms down the hallway, we have nice storage in, in a big closet here. Great size bedroom with a window seat and a private ensuite bath with dual vanities. And then a standard tub shower in here. This LVP floor is a little different than what's in the hallway, just FYI. And then a half bath here. Another bedroom with 
plantation shutters. And this also has a full bath with two vanities. Or, sorry, double bowl vanity. Soaking tub. And last but not least, the master bedroom, which is a really nice size. That will, again, that will be taken removed. We have the, the LVP floors in here. Huge closet. And I'd have to find out what they're what they're doing out there, what kind of structure they're leaving there. And then this walks right around the corner into the master bath, the owner's suite bath, with a big walk-in shower. So, yeah, I will get this uh, get this video out and over over to you and see what you think if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate I talked to the listing agent and it's it's probably going to uh, pop pretty quick thanks so much talk to you soon